Praise the Lord, everyone, and welcome to God's Hiller 7 channel. I'm Sister Barbara, and Brother Dan won't be with me today. I do have a prophecy message that I received this morning from the Lord. And um, if this is the first time you've been on here, Brother Dan and I, we have the gift of prophecy. Uh, if you're not familiar with what that means, you can look that up in 1 Corinthians, I believe it's chapter 12, spiritual gifts. So you could join me right now. Um, I'm going to be in 2 Thessalonians, uh, let's see, chapter 2, verses 5 to 11. And again, I'm in the King James Version Study Bible. I believe it's the New King James. Uh, so here we go. Do you not remember that when I was still with you, I told you these things? And now you know what is restraining, that he may be revealed in his own time. For the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. Only he who now restrains will do so until he is taken out of the way. And then the lawless one will be revealed, whom the Lord will consume with the breath of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming. The coming of the lawless one is according to the working of Satan with all power signs and lying wonders and with all unrighteousness, deception among those who perish because they did not receive the love of the truth that they may be saved. And for this reason, and this is the best part of this, and uh, again, just pay attention here. And for this reason, God will send them strong delusion that they should believe the lie, that they all may be condemned who did not believe the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. So here we go about the strong delusion. This is the first time I ever had a prophecy about the strong delusion. Um, you can join me now in Revelation 11, 1 to 3. 11, uh, Revelation 11, 1 to 3. Um, here we go. And this has to do with the two witnesses coming. Uh, then I was given a reed like a measuring rod. And the angel stood saying, Rise and measure the temple of God, the altar, and those who worship there. But leave out the court, which is outside the temple, and do not measure it. For it has been given to the Gentiles, and they will tread the holy city underfoot for 42 months. And I will give power to my two witnesses, and they will prophesy 1,260 days clothed in sackcloth. These are the two olive trees and the two lampstands standing before the God of the earth. And if anyone wants to harm them, fire proceeds out of their mouth and devours their enemies. And if anyone wants to he, harm them, he must be killed in this manner. They have the power to shut heaven so that no rain falls in the days of their prophecy. And they have power over waters to turn them to blood and to strike the earth with all plagues as often as they desire. I take that literally. I believe the two witnesses, and just like it states here in the scripture, this is how it's going to go. So this prophecy, I've been hearing this first line over and over and over now. This is the third day that I've heard this. So I know when the Lord gives me something three times, and I hear it over and over and over, three days, uh, it, it definitely has importance. The holy city will be trampled underfoot for 42 months with abominations unspeakable. For many will believe the delusion and believe they honor me and do my will. Fear will enter men's hearts as the corrupt one sows his seed. Many men's hearts will stop at the sights to come. Take heed. Now is the time to come forward and join the children of the light. For those on the side of darkness will go into the pit. Repent, for now is the time. Turn from your destructive ways. When you honor me, you honor my Father. The only way to the Father is through me. Come while the door remains open. So again, here's the Lord calling all those unsaved people. If you're listening and you're one, please respond to his message. Uh, my job on YouTube, if you've been on here before, uh, I have two messages up, one called The Acceptable Year of the Lord and one called uh, Yom Kippur, September 23rd, 2015. 
My job is to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord until that time where uh, Jesus is offering a complete cancellation to all of your spiritual debt to anyone who responds to his message. Now is the time to respond to his message. Repent, be baptized. In Jesus' name, you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Call on him. He's waiting. He says in the prophecy message to uh, take heed. And he says, come while the door remains open. If he's telling you the door is open, that means it's going to be closed. So do whatever you need. And again, I'm, I'm asking you uh, to please uh, join the Lord for eternity. You don't want to be on the side of the darkness and what the Lord calls uh, the corrupt one. So again, thank you for tuning in to the God's Hiller 7 channel. It's a blessing to be on here again. Uh, we live in a country where we're not censored. At least right now we're not. And uh, I thank all of my friends, my subscribers. Um, and again, I'm praying for people out there that leave me messages. Uh, I have several messages in my inbox right now that I can't answer because the, the um, system is telling me you need to add me as a contact. So I've tried to actually subscribe to you if I wasn't a subscriber, and I still couldn't get your message through. So again, if you've sent me a message and you're wondering why maybe I didn't answer, that's, that's most likely why I have several messages sitting there I can't do anything with unless I'm at it as a contact. So thank you again, and God bless. Have a blessed day today, and I hope the Lord blesses you and your family, and thank you.